So I implore you, gentlemen, the first thing to be done is to rescue the feeble one, like Anne, from the solitary life. To give her the companionship of her peers. To place her in a condition where all the machinery shall move for her benefit. I realize she is the first feeble-minded person I have ever been in contact with. She continues to serve our table to the best of her ability. But more than one cup and saucer is overturned. Oh, my brother remarks but they really should keep that one tucked away in the back. To which his friend lips, I don't say why they didn't nip her in the bud when she was a babe. This upsets me to no end, and I feel my head turn hot, but I hold my tongue. In my mind, the question haunts me, can nothing for her be done? trying to find my way as well. Stand up straight with head erect, hands on hips, hands back down. Put your hands up in the air, wave to teacher. Put your hands back on your hips, head turned right, head turned left. Now your hands are straight out front, clap for teacher. <laughs> How it feels to be locked up in a room against one's will. Why ever would you do such a thing? So that you may better understand what Anne must feel when you lock her up in her room. I'll forego trying to convey what it feels like to have your wrists bound in restraints. She told you this is how she's treated and you believed her? I would be able to tell if Anne were making up stories. It takes an advanced mind like yours or mine to lie convincingly. I will not stay here any longer and be insulted. I have a good mind to file a full complaint. The saved by the door. Excuse me. 